Hello everybody, this is Yari, and I have a special guest today on my video. My baby, my wife, yeah. baby, my boo boo. My baby. Mm. So, we have a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. Let's start. Well, I initially started these videos because I wanted to talk about being on hormones and stuff like that. So, she has been a month, two weeks, and three days on hormones. Yes, y'all. Yeah. Yes, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's becoming her whole fish cake. Um, <laughs> let's talk about some things that are happening. Um, so I definitely can see the fat redistribution. Is that the word? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hips are getting bigger. She's getting a little butt. Mm -hmm. well, I always had a butt, but you know, it's getting a little bit more. Um, really? Definitely in my <laughs> face. I can see it a lot. My cheeks. It's a weird thing. You know, you look in the mirror. And you're like, oh, I don't really see any face changes. People get your face every day. But I was just like, oh shit. Oh shit. Like, she's getting cheats. She's got a little rounded, run a rounded, more rounded face. So it's super cool to see, I guess. And you like realize those little things. My nipples. <laughs> Y'all. It's the devil. <laughs> yes. I love that I'm getting titties, but oh my god. Y'all, it, it's like. So when I'm laying down, I, I text like this. I'm laying down. I can't even put my arms on my nipples anymore, y'all. It hurts so bad. Like, I'm just like, fuck it, no, whatever. I, I will take a Motrin or ibuprofen to make sure that pain goes away, because it, it fucking hurts. What else? In the beginning, mood swings. That was that was very interesting, you know? It was very interesting, but it happens. You know, now everything's balanced out, um, which is good. So something a couple of weeks happened where i thought i was getting a crazy skin condition because of the moans i was on it happened to be it was like some fiberglass in my house whatever but anyway i had these crazy <laughs> i had these crazy like scratch marks. like it was we like were poison we were like dying. facts like i felt like a fucking wolverine was coming in the middle of the night and scratching me the fuck up like i had like 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 um like these super like huge whelps on my arms it was crazy and i was self-diagnosing myself i was like baby i had this I'm gonna oh. die. I don't, it's everything. Once we like filter the air and everything, I didn't have to stop my blockers or anything, and it was cool. It was super cool. Oh, something else. I am past it now, but for those of you who didn't know, um, probably was that last month or a couple of weeks ago, um, I was walking down in a subway and I was pushed down the stairs. I kind of just made a status about it and kind of left it alone. Um, and you know, I got a lot of people like, you know, wishing me well and stuff like that. But for a while I couldn't really answer back or read the status because it kind of, was, I guess a traumatic moment, I guess you could say. Like at first it was kind of like, just like, wow, that yes. happened. And then like more and more I thought about it and like, wow, that could have been even more dangerous. And this is some, this is things that a lot of people of color, a lot of queer people of color go through. I am well. I'm good. I still wear heels. <laughs> but um, yeah, you guys need to really, really, really be on your P's and Q's out there. There's some sick ass people out there. And if you have any queer, trans, um, brothers and sisters, just watch out for them. Like look out for them and, and help them. That was, that was another thing that was like a little um, crazy for me. Like uh, the guy pushed me down the steps and then when I was on the floor, nobody helped me. Like everybody just kind of like looked around. So let's change that narrative. Let's help queer people. Let's help trans women of color when you see that they're in need, or if people are acting like assholes. Like step in, step in. It's it's your human duty. Like you would do that for any other human being. Just do that. Boom. Oh, y'all see this face, right? Y'all see this face? This bitch is on a motherfucking bus. I um, released it on Facebook and Instagram, but I am one of the many beautiful trans faces on um, in the New York uh, health campaign for PrEP. Um, you guys need to check it out. I know this is weird, but if you see it, I need you to take a picture with it. I need you to tag me in it. I want to create a whole thing about it, you know, I'm just like, look guys, one of us. But um, yeah, it's out. Um, it was first spotted by one of my, a friend of a friend who took a video of it and it was like, oh my God, you're on a bus. And then one night me and my girlfriend were coming home and we were on the bus that had the picture. I was gagging. I was like, holy shit, that's real. And every time I tried to take a picture of it, people would walk by. <laughs> I was like, 
This is the fucking worst. We tried to get out, <laughs> hold the door, like, okay, okay, I'm gonna hold it so the bus won't leave. Exactly. And then every Violet. time she tried to take it, someone was like, <laughs> I was like, this is Violet. This is Violet. And then they're like, they're like, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But... <laughs> Violence, that's what that is. Like, get out! <laughs> um, but it's so cool. It's me and a couple other friends, but we're all trans women of color all over this damn bus. Like, it's so beautiful. Um, the campaign is gorgeous as well. So if you guys see it, check it out. It's beautiful. Prep, access to HIV prevention. Yeah, get that. Get that shit. Yeah, get on prep. Get on prep. Damn, we should get paid for that shit. Right. Well, <laughs> put this on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't by law say the name of the projects but I just did my first TV show um, that's coming out this July I believe yeah July um, it's gonna be so cool I had a little like you know a little cute little cameo and there's talks about maybe doing some other stuff on the show so who knows I'll just give you guys this and you know what show? <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's super cool. Um, TV is freaking awesome, y'all, girl. There's budget in TV. Um, super cool. Right now, I am in talks of a huge commercial. They're thinking about flying me out to LA. Um, look at her. Look at her. Shit. Look at her being a working girl. <laughs> Um, so I might be there for a couple of days. Um, there's another project that I might be going to LA for for another TV show pilot. Like this is this is becoming Bitch. like real. Like we might have to pack our bags and move to LA. Like y'all better say bye to her. She's going to LA, <laughs> California. No, She's gonna be a stay at home wife. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> like, California, like um, excuse you. Excuse you. <laughs> but yeah, so a lot of things are happening. They're coming big, they're coming in fast, real fast. Just a lot of opportunity that's gonna be great. And I'm trying to book it all because mama needs some money. Right. Mama needs some money. Right. Like a lot of money. Right. Cause we need to bank. We need to get our own place. Mm-hmm. Oh, she needs a ring, honey. Oh, Maybe. <laughs> Look at her, she's all blushing now. Look at her pink. I told you guys about a film that I was working on as well. I'm officially a writer consultant on the film, so that's super awesome. Um, I'll be working on it mostly during the summer, so how cool is that? And it got some big producers behind it, y'all. It's like some big names. So I'm gonna get my can dress ready and my Tribeca Film Festival dress ready. Right. Girl, my plus one. Hello. Hey. Welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, I have makeup on, but my baby dearest has started me on Polish Choice. It's the best gift ever. The gift of new beautiful skin. I have definitely, definitely seen a difference. Guys, it's, if you have severe acne, definitely jump on some polish choice it is definitely calming down all the inflammation and y'all if y'all don't know about fucking hormones it's like going through puberty again so my whole shit is breaking out and i was just like oh great like my skin is softer it, it, it's more smooth but yeah girl you get pimples bitch and I was a pimply ass hoe, so guess what? It's coming back. But now I bought things, well, my girlfriend bought me some things, um, to calm it down, to clear, uh, on a journey to clear skin, I don't know. Um, I think it's gonna be cool. You see her face, y'all? She's been on Paula's Choice for almost 10 years, bitch. So I'm not wearing makeup. She's glowing. This is just Look at her little glow, her. bitch. The only thing she had on was lip gloss. A little, little something, something, something. But yeah, I'm trying to get my. Right. I've been using Paula's bitch. Choice for like eight years. Yeah, like that's this been is crazy. my shit, bro. We love Paula. Mm -hmm. Paula, if you ever want to sponsor two trans women. Girl, I need to be in an ad. I've been using Paula's Choice for eight years. Y'all yeah, a little key. So I put a little video up of me doing a little Paula's Choice thing, girl. They contacted me. She mad. <laughs> and they wanted to be some free product. <laughs> but it's fine. It's my baby. Baby, come back to life. Come back to life. Um, but you know, when I get him, I'll share, yes, <laughs> share a little bit with her. I want you I'll share a little bit with her. I'll share a little bit with her. But you know, you can actually use someone that's been using it forever. But <laughs> no, 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 no
around. <laughs> your wife is an influencer, okay? Live your best life. I'm trying to be yeah. shit. I'm trying to get that influencer money. But yeah, so that's been super great. My skin has been really, really healing well. So I'm super excited about that. Why does this strap keep falling down? It's like giving me like this like wide shoulder look. Damn, bitch. Thanks. I'm just trying to get a little. There, there we go. There we go. Um, but that's happening. Guys, in 22 days, I and my beautiful wife are flying to my baby Spain. What are we For doing? What? what are we doing there? What are we doing? So my beautiful darling is having some gender affirming surgery. Um, she can tell you guys about this. It's her. Come mm -hmm. on, baby. What are, what are we doing over there, sweeties? So, I will be having facial feminization surgery. And what is that? Um, it is a collection of procedures to help feminize the face. It is often needed or desired uh, to help minimize dysphoria and increase comfort and peace within oneself. Um, it's huge. It's, it's, I feel like it's something that's less known about. Um, I think cis people try to make everything about genitalia, but for many trans people, sources of dysphoria come from other places. It is a big one. Uh, it is something I've been researching and looking into and hoping for and Research is an to. understatement, y'all. We breathe it, we live it. I'm an expert on that bitch. If you need some FFS, Trans or cis, I can give you some advice, okay? All right. Mm. All right. So I can't even tell you how many hours I've done. Like, if you think about like like hours you need to become like an expert or this that that, bitch, I've got. Give it. her a I've certificate. Done it. Give her a certificate. I have <laughs> questions about technique, procedures, surgeons, all of it. I've done all of it, but. After all of this research and all of this time and consultations with four surgeons, I was an almost a fifth one and researched about a bunch of others Facts. before deciding I didn't want to consult with them. Uh, we Some made the choice. I made the choice. Um, and I'm so lucky to have Yari going with me. I'm so excited, uh, y'all! Spain! Yeah, so And we're going to the Beverly Hills part of Spain, y'all. Marbella. Right. It's on the coast, bitch. It's a whole ass yeah. beach. Even though it might not be that warm, but it's still a beach. It'll be like 60. It's cute. She's still, she's still gonna get in the water. It might be cold, but she's still gonna get in the water. Watch me. Watch Bitch, me. Bitch, I'm gonna be healing. Oh, well, try it. I'm taking a dip. I'm super excited. Um, Spain, like, do I need to say more? It's gonna be great. And I'm gonna be by um, my beautiful booze side, my chuki. Mm. My chuki. That's a new word, guys. I call her chuki, which means. Uh, sweetheart, right? Sweet honey yes. in Hebrew. Yes. And she calls me Bubala. Yes. It's like, so Chuki's like Hebrew slang, and uh, Bubala is more like Yiddish. Chuki like, Buki. Uh, this is something <laughs> I remember from as a kid. A Bubala. A Bubala. It's a very Boo endearing Allah. term. So I've been calling Yari Bubala. She used to hate it. Uh, so I don't use it sometimes. I love but it. Every time it's grown on her. Bubala. I feel like I need a cigarette. Ooh, you can move Ooh. my camera, girl. I feel like I kicked oh. the whole tripod. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. My legs are long. Don't let this fool you. Girl, I'm tall. Facts. She her feet hang off the bed, bitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> that. Um, um, actually, I'm five seven. Oh, good. <laughs> um, so we'll be there for three weeks. Uh, yes, three, three weeks. weeks. Three weeks. So it's like gender affirming, self care, kind of all in one. All in one. We do it yeah, in all, all kinds of self care. Because we never have time for anything. So we're going. Um, but it's going to be super great. That's why I'm trying to do all this other stuff before I go. Literally, the last project that I'm on hold for wants to fly me on the 15th of April, which is the day that we leave. So I'll literally get back from LA at like hopefully like nine o'clock in the morning, go home, switch my bags, and get on a plane that evening to Spain. That's booked life. That's book life, girl. Get jet setters. <laughs> jet setters, girl. Jet setters. 
Um, okay. Yes. Okay, Yari. Okay, Yari. Come on, Yari. Come on. It's going to be super cool, y'all. Yes, yo. trademark. Yes, trademark. Trademark. <laughs> EM, don't try me. We're going to be in Marbella. It's going to be awesome. Um, I think it's going to be like one of those life-changing, um, well, of course, life-changing for her, most definitely, but one of those life-changing um, trips. And, you know, be closer and bond more with my baby. Oh, another thing. I just dropped this little teaser. She's getting her consultation done. Mm -hmm. Same doctor when she goes. Goodbye, brow bone. <laughs> Hello, flat forehead. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've been thinking about it as well. Um, it's just kind of in the like stratosphere right now. Um, so this will be my first consultation um, for some for some FFS, bitch. Because we trans women deserve to feel comfortable and beautiful. Yes, trans healthcare should be accessible. Like, really, y'all? Like, girl, and not we, just what cis people think is important. We just had a day with our own providers, bitch. They're always trying some shit, okay? So that's why I ain't named nobody. But I love my nurse practitioner. Yeah, no, she's great. <laughs> but the healthcare system in general for trans folks is disgusting. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need to do better. And if we act the fool, deal with it, bitch. Because we're trying it out here to get our health. Mm -hmm. Our whole ass healthcare. I think that might be it. I think so. I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, just auditioning, trying to stay afloat so I don't have to work a nine to five. New things are happening. It's a beautiful sunny day, even though it's cold as hell outside. Um, I'm doing the work I love. Mm -hmm. I'm with the person I love. Y'all wanna see this kiss? Here we go, ready? Here we go. Oh, that was cute. That was cute. Mm. That's revolutionary. Trans folks get it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I forgot. I didn't do this in my Oh yeah, it's been it's been a long time. Um also check out um them.com. It's Conde Nass's new queer publication. I just did a whole piece about um trans women being excluded from the the um me too. Me too movement. And it was with me, Elle Levine, uh, Swy, all my trans girlfriends, and my fucking idol, Monroe Bergdorf. Bergdorf? Bergdorf? Mm -hmm. Bergdorf? Yeah, that's how you say it. Say. Um, it's amazing. Go see it. We're talking some real shit. Um, it's beautifully done, and it was amazing. So go check that out. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. This has been a almost 20 minute video and I hope you go through all of it because it's a lot of information, but it's good information. So peace out. Love. Come on, Yari. Come on, Yari. Come on. Yari. Come on.